So what's up guys, this is Will and I'm back with another video. Uh, so this is a video that's going to be a little bit different than the videos that I usually make. Uh, I have a bunch of older devices uh, still around and I just decided that I want to go back and revisit these uh, devices. Uh, just go back and just kind of look at them, see how they look and, with, and compare them to today's technology. Uh, so it won't just be uh, cell phones, it'll be uh, different other devices. And I'll try to do one of these every so often. Uh, also, I would love to see other people older devices, if, if you still have them, uh, to see what you have on hand. Most of mine still work. Uh, so I bought this one back when it first came out. Uh, the Blackjack 1 was the first one. This is the Blackjack 2. Uh, Samsung Blackjack 2 and uh, the first one was a huge success uh, so that's why they came out with the uh, with the two right here and this was out along the same times that Black Bear had out their Curve 8300 series and their Bold uh, at the time when the first one came out the Blackjack 1 I was rocking the 8310 8, Curve on uh, AT&T so I didn't get that one, but when they announced that they were going to do a Blackjack 2, uh, at that time a lot of my friends had the, the Curve and they had the bow, so I wanted to go a different, I wanted to be a little bit different, so I picked up uh, this Samsung uh, Blackjack 2. So I've been rocking with Sammy for a long time uh, and have seen, their, seen how they've progressed over the years. I also had the uh, Samsung Eternity which was a, a touch screen, but it wasn't a smartphone back then. And I also had a flip phone, uh, the Samsung Rugby, which was a uh, rugged type phone, flip phone. So uh, let's take a look at this one and see what we got here. So this was, this, I was using this on AT&T. Uh, like I said, this was considered to be a big phone back then. And as you can see, with it in my hand right here is, is pretty small now compared to what we have these days so uh, this is the SGH I617 uh, series uh, number right here I think the blackjack one was the SGH I616 so this was uh, like I said I was using this on AT&T this weighs 3.52 ounces uh, the CPU on this, I'm going to do a few specs on it. Uh, <laughs> this is running uh, Windows Mobile 6, but I think mine's been upgraded to the Windows Mobile 6.1. CPU, 260 megahertz Texas instrument, instrument OMAP 2420. The memory, check this out guys, 128 megabytes of RAM, 256 megabytes of ROM. Uh, has a micro SD card slot, which is cool. 1700 milliamp battery, removable. Uh, QWERTY backlit keyboard. Uh, the display 320 by 240 pixels. 6500, 65K colors. And a 2.0 megapixel camera with Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, the strain size 2.4 inch strain. So that was uh, pretty big back then, like I said. I'm trying to see if anything else. Uh, the quad, this was a quad band uh, GSM 850, 900, 1800, 1900 bands. Uh, Bluetooth 2.0, uh, four time digital zoom, self timer, multi shot, brightness level, and like I said, no flash on here and so let's let's take a look at the device here so you had your earpiece right here uh, your charging message indicator light right there power button uh, your micro SD card slot which was pretty cool on the bottom nothing this side you had your proprietary uh, charging and earphone jack your volume up and down buttons rocker there uh, on the back 
you had your selfie mirror <laughs> and your uh, 2.0 megapixel camera uh, back then this back as you see how it looks now this was supposed to imitate a leather look uh, on the black one it looked more leathery if that's a word than not Samsung logo and you could also change out your battery uh, get this back on there wheel and what else your speaker there I think I mentioned that it had a nice chrome accent around here so this thing was good looking man but back then this was considered to be a big phone the first day I wore it had it on and I think I had a belt clip holster and it started ringing when I got in the, uh, got to work didn't even know how to answer it really uh, and it was ringing loud the speaker was loud on it and people were looking man what is that you know they were I was kind of trying to be boss, you know, and uh, we standing up around the uh, coffee pot, and I uh, got a chance to show it off, you know, so uh, here's the uh, jog wheel. This was the thing that made this made this boss because the black bears didn't have that stroll wheel right there, and the other thing to rob of them was this quarter keyboard, which this one was, the keys were a little smaller than on your Blackberry. Uh, but these were more separated to me, so I really enjoyed using this at t logo, and I'll get to these buttons here once we power it up. Uh, <coughs> uh, the 2.4 inch string, let's go ahead and turn it on. And you get to see there, you get Samsung uh, logo right there, and you'll see the old at t uh, boot up string. And it boots up pretty fast. I do see some, I've lost some pixels. There it is, the old 3G, <laughs> AT&T. Uh, actually, back then, you could you could theme this. You could change it uh, to, this is the start stream, but you could change it, like theme it back then. So that was pretty cool, you know. Uh, so here's the home stream right here. Like I said, back then, you could, you could change it to different colors or you could do different things with it. So you got over here your uh, Windows button, your start. And your contacts, and this does change if you're in different menus. Your back button, uh, your call in, and your call uh, button right there. So if you went into the start button, press the start button, it would take you into this. And as you can see, my stroll wheel still actually works. Uh, it's not; it doesn't work all the time, but that was the cool feature on it. If you wanted to get into the uh, messaging. And I've been having some problems with my uh, getting into my menus right here because I think my little middle button uh, is not working like it should be. Oh, uh, maybe it is. Let's see. Yeah. I think I hit the uh, back button or whatever. But that's how you would get through, uh, get through your menu system right there. Uh, it wasn't really a whole lot to it. Your messaging, calendar, contacts, AT&T music, cellular video, uh, media net, uh, AT&T mall, IM and email, AT&T GPS, organizer, my stuff, games, Internet Explorer. And then if you wanted to get out and go back to your home stream, that's what you did. But this was a great device back then, man. Uh, smartphone no wi-fi on it so uh but that's a look at the samsung blackjack uh i don't know if i mentioned this little uh mic down here in your earphone uh samsung blackjack 2. i got some more devices i want to uh, come back and revisit if you got some older ones we'd love to see your videos on them uh let's do a little small comparison to what we got these days uh Here's the, the big beast right here, the Note 8. And as you can see, how far they've progressed. <laughs> uh, the Samsung from back then uh, to what we got right here right now. The big dog, the Note 8. And then uh, that's the biggest phone I have. And then probably the smallest one I have right here uh, is the uh, iPhone 6. As you can see, and it's still smaller, but this was considered to be a big, huge phone back then. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, so that's a look at the 
Samsung Blackjack 2. Thank y'all for watching. Catch y'all in the next video.